Welcome. Today we're checking out a new song from Quarter After Three. Formerly known as Motion Device, this song is just like you. Enough talk. Let's rock. Okay, first impressions. They, you know, there's no more guitar. And Andrea's just making this wall sound with the keyboards. And, you know, he's coming in with the drums. It's going to be heavy. But at the same time, I feel like it's, I, I don't know. I don't want to say too much because let's just hear it. I said, man, check out this drum beat. He starts throwing in the double kick roll. And then and <laughs> David's just insane. And then you have Andrea doing like this this uh synthesizer roll on, on the keyboard here, and Sarah's just killing it. Killing it. It's very eerie. Doesn't it sound a little eerie? Very cool. Very cool. Let's get back. But hey, it's okay. when they come back into that down 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 <laughs> you know I, I know Andrea uh, is the writer of these songs um, obviously you know he comes up with the um, drum parts I wonder if she has I mean they gotta write these as a as a band right but she may bring them all to the table since they're, you know, normally it's 
either a keyboard player or a guitar player that kind of brings the draft of the song in. Um, you know, the rough draft. What do they call it? Uh, like a scratch track. And, you know, so they have a vision of how the song should progress. And I'm wondering if she writes the lyrics too, or does she let Sarah do that? Or does she write some, Sarah writes some, David writes some? I'm not sure. I would love to know that. And that, that's just so big when they come back in. Dun, 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 dun. It's really cool that she threw that other octave in there and that synthesizer. Um, I thought that was the last chorus, but we still got a minute. Man, this song has so many different levels. The drummer's definitely got to be my favorite. David is just killing it. Um, I'm a huge fan of when, you know, they, uh, they when I say they, drummers, um, they'll be doing this really cool beat, and then they start throwing in a little bit more, throwing in a little bit more, because he's just adding to the existing beat, just adding it, changing it ever so slightly. And then they go into just that continuous double bass and everything else is like pretty slow. It just makes it really heavy. Oh, gotta go back. And his fills are on point. And then here he goes continuous. I'm such a fan of that. Love it. Oh, what a way to end it. Now, how are they doing the guitars there? Were... Did she somewhere hit like a MIDI track or something? She's got a lot going on there on the keyboards. I just don't know if she has like a pad. But she could very well program any one of those to do anything, really. That's my guess. I gotta hear the ending of all this again. Crash 
He has a pad. Oh, now I gotta look back. Does he hit it? I'm like dedicating to figure this out. <laughs> Which if he hits it in the middle of the fill. No, he doesn't. Yeah, I wonder how they do that. Ah, that's cool. All right. Quarter after three. New material. I love where they're going with it. Uh, let me know what to check out next. This was a Patreon request. Thanks for sharing it with me and the community. Until next time, stay cheesy, my friends. <laughs>